What up, players? What was Tay up in this mode? Using my cool Pix L100 camera to take some video, so it's not going to be blurry anymore. Hopefully, let me just show you some of the detail work I've got going on on my Phoenix Lords. This is Karandis with the awesome Predator dreads, and I painted him up like my other striking scorpions with uh, a little bit more bone accents over there on the mandibles. Here are my other three Phoenix Lords. Paint us! Paint us! Nope, not yet. So here's one of my other striking scorpions to show you the little comparison of... I tried to make him tie in with the rest of them. So I think that's uh, pretty, pretty close to it. Next to him is my Assyrman. I went with the painting scheme I was doing for the Dire Avengers. A lot of blue on the armor. Here is a uh, little Dire Avenger to show you the comparison. Um, the highlighting, edge highlighting on this guy is a little bit more, a little bit more uh, sharp as opposed to Assyrman because Assyrman's just got so much more going on. He's got the gold helm, um, the green spot color accents to tie him into the BL10 color scheme that I'm doing. And I went with an orange for his face mask and for the uh, yin yang symbol on his chest because I just thought red might be too uh, too harsh against the blue and the green and um, I thought orange might might make it look a little bit better. And here's my Eldred Althwin. Finally you can see the rune work a little bit more on this camera now that it's not as blurry anymore. The power sword and uh, the Galaxy Star map on his back, which is really awesome. And like I said, for all the gems I've done, mostly what the Games Workshop tells you to do with the, uh, you know, start off with a black and then highlight in a little crescent shape, getting higher and higher to the color you want, and then in the darkest area, putting just a little spot of skull white and then giving the whole thing a little covering of hard coat to make it shine. And speaking of the Dire Avenger, there is also the BL10 cloth on his arm, the green cloth to tie him into the theme of the army, and some Eldar-ish runes on it. You can see there. What else we got? This is my second Dire Avenger Exart, and I gave him some extra runes on the side. And, uh, like I said, these aren't freehand, these are transfers, the big ones, and I just sh colored it in with shining gold and cleaned up the line so that it doesn't stick out as much as a transfer and so that it will look a little bit more like I painted it. I'm getting a little bit better at the crystal sword technique. Uh, not as good as I want to be. And here's just a closer look now that I have this camera at this guy's runes. This Farseer. These uh, Oathway Farseers. Couldn't find a place to put the, the green BL10. I might I might do this sash across the front but I just like it as, as red. As a red spot color, the red just pops so much more. So, I don't know. Still on the on the fence with that one. Here's something you guys haven't seen yet. My goth big mech. Painted up a la white dwarf. What is this? Hold on, let me check. February 2008, 337. White dwarf 337. There's a whole in-depth uh, master class section how to go uh, step by step to paint this guy up. And I followed it pretty exactly to the letter, so that just so that I could see if I could, you know, reproduce the same kind of quality that the heavy metal guys have. And I'm pretty happy with it. I like all the little chipping, the hazard stripes, of course the little snotling. This was the first model I ever bought for 40k. I just never got around to painting it until just recently. I didn't like the Big Mac head, so I used the Big Mac head from the shooter frame. I think it just looks more um, more Big Mechie and orky and with, with these little power coil ball things I think the little one on its head just makes it look so much more funnier and orky. And finally, as a little treat, here is the looted sentinel that some of you may have seen before. Just pictures of. Uh, I haven't come up with a finished video yet. It's Blood Axie, which is why the little grout has a communist star on his hat. And um, that's why it's got different kinds of camouflage all over the place. Close combat weapon, missile launcher. This was before the new Killicans came out.
So um, I, I wanted to play him as a killer can with a close combat weapon and missile launcher. Of course, with all the other extra orky bits, there are other extra little missiles there. And of course, what orky weapon in my army would be complete without a little targeter and a little bayonet? So he can stick this little guardsman as he's running away. No, please, where are my friends? Oh no, help me, help me. Kill a can, come in my way. Um, what else have I done with this little guy? Given the Imperial Guardsman a uh, helmet and the little rifle that he dropped as he's running in panic from my awesome looted kill a can. And uh, oh yeah, the little bullet holes pew 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 streaking up the door. And of course, the poor unfortunate Guardsman pilot who this little grot inherited his ride from. And there he is, he's about to drop this little grenade on him. <laughs> um, I'm, I used a grot head from one of the grot sprues and uh, Imperial Guardsman arms that I have chopped at the elbows and shortened so that they look a little bit shorter like a grot. And Warhammer Fantasy Goblin legs to complete it. Okay. Hope you guys like it. The last thing I'm going to show you all is what I've got on the block. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 14, 15, 15 more Wraith Guard to do up in the manner of these guys. So, wish me luck!